Machine control, but I'm checking here. No, not a nothing. You let your imagination run wild. What the hell? Control Russo's off my scope. Moving in. Nothing. Russo? It can't be. Spots. Russo. You're all mine. Shake him, he's got locked. Yeah. Yeah. Collision alert. Phil, you need help. Goodbye. Unknown contact. This is an unarmed confederation medical transport evacuating civilian units. We will heave to and prepare to be boarded. You are going on your attack. The border worlds take no prisoners. Mayday! <laughs> Biting the flash pack. Successful test. Let's go. Welcome to order. You will shortly have an opportunity to voice your opinions of the recent horrific occurrences that have taken place near the border worlds. But before we do that, I thought it fit to invite the commander of the Strategic Readiness Agency to address the House, Admiral Tolan. Thank you. Thank you! Thank you, Senator. Ladies and gentlemen of the Great Confederation Assembly, as commander of the SRA, I'm charged with many duties. Foremost of these is the protection of the frontiers of our galaxy. Unfortunately, I stand before you today with very few answers. What do you mean, few The random answers? acts of violence taking place in the border world still remain a mystery. It's renegade pirates, I tell you. No, it's worse. The border world's militia is behind it. Let me remind you Murderers. that during the long war with the Kilrathi, the border worlds were a loyal ally. And now they attack us! Let us not allow lust for revenge to cloud our thinking. We mustn't forget who our friends are. 
However, we must also keep in mind that during the war, certain social and political changes were taking place along the frontier. Now, whether or not these changes relate to the senseless acts of terrorism remains to be seen. But see to it, I will. I can promise you that. Yes, yes. Admiral, you are aware that the increase in these incidents has raised the tension between us and the border worlds to a dangerous level. But before this august body commits itself to a grave and irrevocable action, I have asked the Admiral to investigate and report back to us in two weeks. Admiral, to go with the blessing of this assembly and of every peace-loving person in the galaxy. Gotcha. Oh, give me a house kitchen. I haven't served one of those since the war ended. Hey, pal. Spare the price of a drink for an old vet? You were a flyer? Oh, yeah. I flew off the TCS Liberty. Straighten him out. Help him out. Oh. Do me a favor. Why don't you get out of here and get yourself a meal instead? Hey, thanks, pal. I'll do that. The price of freedom is eternal vigilance. Things just ain't the same since the war ended. You got a lot of guys coming home and just not enough jobs to go around. Yeah, well, we all make our own way. You a vet? Yeah. Wait a minute. Hey, I've seen your picture before. Um... Hold on, you. Thanks for the drink. Hey, wait, honey. What, what, honey? What? I'm not waiting. Don't call me honey. These pigs are all the same. <laughs> I guess women out here on the edge of nowhere can't appreciate a civilized man. Sure they do. When they meet one. <laughs> Good to see you too, Colonel. Or, or should I say Farmer Blair? Glad you could fit me into your busy schedule. It's a peaceful life. Hmm? I've always said you're either an earthworm or an eagle. So what, you must have been flying since the last since time Since you saw. got lucky on that bombing run on Kilra? Yeah, of course I'm still flying. What else is there? Beats tromping around in fertilizer. We know maniac. Maybe tromping around in fertilizer is what I want to do. Maybe after putting my life on the line day after day for all those years, hearing the crunch my feet make on real dirt is what I want. Well, it sounds like you memorized that speech. Good for you. As I ask, nothing more. Anybody gonna stop this? Not my problem. Maybe you should go over and tell him who's boss, Colonel War Hero. Ain't my business. This pisses me off. This is the way you treat all your friends? You just remember you're not my friend. Oh, that's obvious. You're lucky I don't kill you right now. Let him go. I don't see where this is your concern, mister. I'm prepared to make it my concern. You're gonna wish you never met me. 
I already do. <laughs> Personally, I can't wait until we meet again. Of course, I would have backed you up if you tried anything. Oh, you sit. Is he gone? Come on. Come on, pal. So what was the important matter you wanted to discuss? Oh. <laughs> da, 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 da. Colonel Christopher Blair, Confederation Space Force Reserves. It's my duty to inform you, you are being recalled to active military service. <coughs> Haven't you heard, maniac? The war is over. They sent me here to get you. Who sent you? Who said that? How should I know? Somebody high up. They don't tell majors everything, you know. And you think with all the years I put in of service... Well, I'll never understand conflict command decisions anyway. I mean, why they put an aging earthworm back in the cockpit. Why I'm not a colonel. You know, just because a guy gets lucky on one mission, happens to vanquish an enemy we've been fighting for eons. When do we leave? Leave. Oh, I, I arranged for a couple fighters. They're, they're waiting in the port. Let's go. Let's go. Think you can remember how to get this baby off the ground? Huh? Oh. <laughs> nice lift off. Uh, for a dinosaur. <laughs> Been a few eons since you held a flight stick, huh, Colonel? Or, or did you find some sand princess to hold it for you back there? <laughs> you don't have to answer that. Me? No, yeah, I know. Uh, but you can't say you haven't missed my sparkling repartee just a little. We're scheduled to hop a shuttle at the Orlando Depot to make the jump to Seoul. Just to make it interesting, I got a surprise for you, Colonel. <laughs> I know you've always wanted to take a shot at me, so here's your chance. Our gun's power generators have been temporarily altered to fire non-lethal blasts. Your HUD will show virtual damage on both ships. First one with 100% damage is the loser. So we can finally see who's better with a flight stick. What do you say? You're on, pal. Let's see if you still got it, Farmer Blair. down on the farm too long, Colonel. See you at the Orlando Depot. Holy shit! Sw switch into battle mode. I just hope the auto reach figures fast enough. They're gonna wish they were never born. Nice work, old timer. Let's head to Orlando. We got a shuttle to catch. What you see before you, Colonel Blair, is just one of what will be many victories for the border worlds. people aboard that crate, and he just, just, oh, oh, and if that wasn't enough, we're in the middle of nowhere flying on fumes. Wait, nav computers picked up Blue Point Station. Oh, I'm not sure we can make it, but oh, we got no choice. Listen, downloading nav data to you. Nothing personal, Colonel, but so far, I haven't much enjoyed this reunion.
need clearance. Welcome to Blue Point, gentlemen. You have clearance. Magnificent, aren't they? I bet you wish you had one of those during the war. <laughs> to put the fear of God into the Kilrathi. <laughs> well, carriers don't fly themselves, Admiral. Quite. Quite right, Colonel. It is the men, isn't it? Well, it looks like the... Uh, Pastoral life agrees with you. I'm envious. <laughs> yeah, if I was a little more confident in the Confederation security, I... I'd walk away in an instant. Well, reports are that you ran into some trouble on your way here. Yes, sir. Ah, uh, law and order. Concepts that seem to be crumbling throughout the Confederation. These are transitional times, Admiral. Yes, but in the Kilrathi, we had a common enemy. It was humanity's finest hour. Now we cast about uncertain. Well, you've seen it for yourself, the wanton destruction. That's why Confed needs your services, your experience again. You know where my loyalties have always been, sir. Something we count on, Colonel. The past months now, there's been an undeclared war waged against us. Acts of terrorism, piracy, sabotage. Is it symptomatic of these transitional times, or is there something else at work here? Do you see a strategy or a design behind it? Every time I connect the dots, I'm... Always guided back to our longtime allies in the border worlds. And you think they've undertaken some kind of guerrilla war? Well, their relationship with Comfed has always been uneasy. The 
price of freedom is eternal vigilance. Which is where I come in. <laughs> well, we have a, a long history together. One that, uh, I dare say, has been a bit rocky in the past. We have had our differences, sir. Yeah. But there's no denying our achievements. Which is why I have personally reinstated you to active duty. Not only will you be my eyes and ears, but your very presence in the border worlds will send a potent message to all the galaxy. I am no politician, sir. Actions speak louder than words, Colonel. I'm not sending you there merely as a symbol. I'm putting you back in the cockpit, where you'll be reunited with an old friend. The thrill of battle. Nice to meet you. Glad to. All hail, the mighty heart of the tiger. You know, you're not the only war hero in Confed. I've taken out more cats than most ships' entire attachments. Do I get the red carpet treatment? No. No, I carry my own duffel bag. I don't go schmoozing with the Admiral. Admiral Towin, Towin, Towin. Has he said anything about me? You haven't heard? He couldn't stop talking about you, Maniac. What? Well, it's classified. I mean, I could tell you, but then I'd have to kill you. <laughs> I got clearance. I got clearance. I'll tell you about it later. Wait a minute. 